doing a um, maintenance day type of video. Um, it's actually gonna be a two day maintenance video because we're currently the 7th of November. Actually no, we're the 8th now because it's past midnight. I just got home from an evening shift and y'all look at my hair. It is full of gunk, just full of, it's just not looking cute anymore. I really enjoy these braids. I love them, but it's time for them to come out. It's time for me to wash my hair. And yeah, so I'm gonna take these braids out tonight and tomorrow I'm gonna go um, to the hair store, um, you know, get some hair stuff. I have a whole day planned out. I'm sure you guys saw the intro. So yeah, let me just get to this hair. Yes, my pits are looking crazy, but we're gonna be dealing with that later. It is a maintenance day after all. So don't judge me, okay? This is me in all my natural behind the scenes glory. <laughs> So separating my hair in sections, I'm going to go ahead and cut my hair to around the length of my hair. This is just so I don't have to loose it out at full length because that would just take way, way too much time. So it's a shortcut. I'm just cutting them um, before I loose them out. Yeah, my hair is super dirty right now, as you guys can see. Just a bunch of gunk um, built up, but it's two in the morning like i'm not about to wash this and i don't have any products anyway so i'm gonna sleep tomorrow morning we're gonna go get some products together and spend the day together so make sure you guys stay tuned for that i know i'm looking a little bit wild my hair is looking crazy everything is looking crazy but i just got to the lash bar i'm gonna get my lashes done this morning i don't know i've been really wanting to get them done again so super excited stay tuned to see how they look So here my lash tech is just prepping my eyelashes by cleaning them um, and this feels very weird on the eyes so you guys can see my eyes like twitching or whatever but this is just to make sure that she removes any accumulation of dirt, any leftover uh, makeup or mascara or anything that could potentially be on my eyelashes that might prevent my new set of lashes from sticking and lasting for a long time. So I'm just going to let you guys watch the rest of the process. If you would like to show this channel some support, go ahead and show your love down below by dropping a like. It really helps the channel a lot. And let me know down below in the comments, what was the first ever Nursing With Key video that you saw? What brought you to this channel? Let's get this conversation going down below. So I've never really been too sure why Lash Techs put this tape underneath your eyes. If you're a Lash Tech, let me know down below. But based on my research, if you guys are a little bit confused about what's going on here, I think this is supposed to kind of like hold um, the bottom lid steady. And it's also kind of supposed to like lift the eye and make it easier for the Lash Tech to kind of see what they're doing. Honestly, I'm not sure. But let me know down below if you know the answer to this why all this tape let me know down below So this is what my eyelashes were looking like when I was almost done. You guys could see she still had a bit to fill out in the middle. But look at the end result. I'm absolutely loving, loving, loving this. It's thick and it still gives that bad B type of look, but it's not too crazy. It still looks somewhat natural. So I really love that. look a little bit longer but still look natural i'm really this is how they look looking down i really like the way they are looking so next i'm just gonna go to the hair store i'm gonna get some stuff so that we can go home and organize this hair and then we have to wax we have to shave we got to do a full maintenance day when we get home so yeah i'll see you guys in a bit 
So I actually didn't do my nails today. I did them two days ago, but I wanted to save a little footage for the purpose of this video. I actually wanted to include this process in this video, but I knew I wouldn't have the time to get them done. So I did them prior to this video, but look at the end result. I absolutely love this nice little dark purple French going on. Really, really love it. product i'm not exactly sure what to use what i use is usually the um the african pride the natural line that line does wonders for my hair and i, I used to use that a while back before like everyone's been talking about it on the internet and now i can never find it anywhere so i'm just gonna browse through um see which ones i want and then i'll show you guys the ones that i got later So I'm finally at the point where I get to wash my hair. I know you guys know the feeling of washing your hair after having braids in for like a month or whatever. So I'm just going and I'm just trying to rinse off any product, any dirt, any gunk that's in there before actually starting my shampoo process just so my shampoo can really do what it has to do. And I'm starting off with the Aussie Miracle Curls shampoo. This is my go-to shampoo. This is the one that I use like 99% of the time. I didn't buy this from the hair salon um, today. I actually just had this in my cupboard um, from a while ago. I have a lot of um, the Aussie shampoo and conditioner because once again, that is what I use. So I'm just lathering this all over my hair and all my naturals, please do not come for me. I know you guys are gonna say that you shouldn't put shampoo all over your strands, but because I know how much gunk accumulation I have in my head right now, I'm putting shampoo everywhere. So I'm going in with this Garden of Eden Deep Conditioner. I love the smell of it. It almost smells like it has tea tree in it or something or peppermint. It has a slightly minty type of smell. But anyway, I'm just going to put that on because my hair is feeling so dry and brittle and I could just tell that it's lacking moisture. And I'm just going in with this Denman brush that's by Red by Kiss. I got this at Sally's, so you could go to Sally's and definitely get this there. I put a shower cap on and left that on for about 20 minutes and my hair is definitely looking a little more moisturized than it was before. So I'm just gonna brush that out of my hair and then we're gonna move on to the next step. I don't know about you guys, but I really came a long way ever since my color damage and my heat damage. My curls are popping right now. If you think my curls are popping, drop some waves down below. So now we're going to be moving on to the fun part, which is skin, starting off with this Trezan, um Antibacterial Body Wash. I've spoken to you guys about this in my body acne videos before, and I've explained to you guys that I like washing my body after washing my hair because if you do the opposite, then some of that residue hair product can just stick on your skin, seep into your pores, and cause acne. So I like to wash my hair and then scrub my skin really well to make sure my shampoo and everything is off. Then I'm going in with this sweet whiskey body wash by bath and body works and guys you have to try it it smells so good it's sandalwood vanilla and whiskey amazing next i'm going in with my exfoliating polish by dove and this is the macadamia and rice milk one this has exfoliating beads which are just gonna scrub off any accumulation of dead skin it's gonna leave you feeling nice and smooth and make the next step easier all right, so I'm going in with my shaving routine. I've spoken to you guys about the baby oil before. I've never been back ever since. So I'm just using baby oil as a shaving cream replacement. Definitely try it and let me know how that goes for you down below. And I'm using a regular Gillette um, two blade shaving stick. Then you guys are gonna see me go in with the Dettol and comment down below if you know about this. It's an antiseptic liquid that works amazing against body acne. So I use this um, and just leave it on my acne prone areas for about two minutes before rinsing off. So armpits, inner thighs, chest, back, everywhere. Just to let you guys know, all the products and the steps you guys are gonna be seeing here are the steps that I followed in my um, glass skin routine video. So if you guys are interested in that, I'm going to leave the link right up here so you guys can click on that and go check that out it is pretty much just my like 
glass skin day-to-day -day, um, skincare routine minus two steps but definitely check that out and remember that all the links to the products will be down below so i'm just using my cerave face wash as along with my silicone face brush this is just going to really exfoliate my skin get rid of any accumulation of dead skin and make sure that i didn't miss anything i'm then going in with my hyaluronic acid by the ordinary and pressing that into my skin i'm putting in my tarte under eye cream this is going to help with you know dark circles and everything like that next i'm going to be using this pons moisturizing lotion and i absolutely love 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 this cream it is so hydrating and the key word for this winter is hydration in fact that should be the keyword for every winter because you guys know that dry cold weather can just dry your skin out and have you looking flaky and crazy okay so if you don't want to look crazy this winter go grab yourself some pond cream this stuff is super hydrating and it's just gonna keep your skin glowing all through winter and lastly i'm gonna be going in with my my um, serum and this is by three chips three ships i love this serum it's rosemary and it's really really good for acne so i'm keeping tonight's skincare routine very simple and i'm just going in with my tea cream body butter it's shea butter it smells so amazing guys there's literally no words to explain how this stuff smells it literally just smells so so good i feel like it smells a little bit like sandalwood so just really nice sweet um spicy type of smell just really nice and i'm just putting that everywhere and you guys can see how it has my skin so moisturized we know the colder weather is coming so moisture is definitely key here and do not forget your feet don't forget between your toes don't forget your heels and all of that all right, so next up is hair, and I'm starting off with this Garden of Eden leave-in conditioner. Everything you see me doing to one part of my hair, I've done to my entire head, okay? Because you will see a little skips here and there. But I went in and applied this leave-in conditioner to my entire head. And then you guys are going to see me, um, you know, just finishing off the last part of my head, which is the top part. I already put product there, as you guys can see. But I'm just going in with the last section of um, my head, and I'm going to put in this curl defining cream which i'm using as my hydrator you guys can see it made my hair look very very hydrated and it felt very soft as well and to slick this hair down i'm gonna be using some gorilla glue i did purchase eco styler and got to be glued but sometimes i feel like the buildup of those two products can make your hair look very very flaky um and i really don't like that i don't have that problem that problem with got to be glued i'm um, sorry <laughs> with the gorilla glue so i'm just applying that all over my head and i'm just gonna be using that to once again slick my hair so here you see me going in with that curl defining cream once again i'm I'm combing through my hair and then I'm going to be going in with gel and brushing that back. I didn't like go too crazy and try to make it look too, too good. I didn't put that much of an effort into it because this is just for work. I'm gonna be working all week, so I don't really care. I just want a style that's going to last once again so that I don't really have to do anything to my hair because I honestly do not like having to style my hair. And at seven, seven in the morning, when i have to be at work which means i have to wake up at 5 30 like i don't want to be styling my hair at 5 30 i just don't have the strength for it but voila this is what it's looking like i'm gonna put the beads um it comes with like five different ones i think eucalyptus tea tree um peppermint lemon and something else but i used up all my beads these are the last two that i have left I already have some peppermint um, in the in the machine, but I don't think it's gonna be enough, so I'm just gonna add a little bit to it. 
So I'm gonna show you guys how this works. It also comes with the after wax and the pre-wax. So this is what you put to prep your pits or wh whatever you're, you're waxing. Um, and this is what you use after to get that stickiness off. I'm also gonna use some cornstarch. You can use some cornstarch or some flour underneath. And it just allows the um, wax to just grip on better. So I'm gonna be doing that. Let me go get it. My machine looks ghetto, but it is what it is. So basically, I'm just gonna turn it up all the way to max. And once it's completely melted, I'm gonna bring it back down to 150 and let it cool down for about, you know, five minutes or so, and then it'll be ready to use. You don't want it to be too runny, but you don't want it to be too thick either. So right in the middle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cover that and let that melt and I will be back when it's ready. So this is what the wax looks like when it is melting. It is not completely melted, but you guys can see it's not too liquid and it's not too thick either. That's kind of how you want it to be, minus the little bubbles that you guys can see that ha that hasn't melted yet. But this is the consistency that I personally like. And I'm going in with this pre wax once again this is by tress wellness link will be down below i'm applying this pre wax this is just going to remove any um, accumulation of product or anything that might make it hard for the wax to stick and then you guys are going to see me going in with some cornstarch and cornstarch is going to make it even easier for that wax to properly grip onto your hair so i just went in with some toilet paper applied the cornstarch and then i'm going in with the wax i have a full unboxing video um, talking about this specific wax kit so if you guys want to know more about it more what about what comes in the box and everything you guys can definitely go check that video out but i'm trying to keep this short and sweet One thing I love about this wax is that it dries so quickly, like literally 10-15 seconds and that boy is ready to come off. So I'm just using the stick to kind of raise the, the bottom, lift the bottom so I can grip it. And there you go, y'all. <laughs> that one took it all out of me. But once that one was done, all the others became like way easier. I think the first one is always the hardest one. So now that I'm done waxing, I'm just going in with my after wax and this is just going to help me get rid of any like leftover little bits of wax. You guys can see um, that I have little bits left left over, but this does a really good job at removing that. And honestly, I'm telling you, my skin does not feel sticky at all after I've gotten the wax off with this after wax. It makes it very easy for the wax to kind of just roll off. So I love this stuff. Then I'm just going to go in with a nice warm rag just to get rid of all that after wax and pre wax and look how nice my pits are looking. And now for my favorite part, downtime. I'm just going to set the mood in my living room a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and light some candles, put some jazz music on, um, get my LED lights going. This just creates a whole vibe in my apartment, which is just perfect for relaxation. It's all about the music, the scents, the lights. Like you guys know what I'm trying to go for here. So lastly, I'm going to be going in with my LED face mask by Cure. 
I have a full video explaining exactly what this does, but this blue light is perfect for acne. So this is going to help me with acne and redness. And I'm taking this time to continue reading The Art of Seduction, which is um, the book that I've been trying to complete as of lately. And I like to keep this mask on for about 10 minutes. And this is how my skin looks after the mask. So that is pretty much it for my maintenance day. Let me know how you guys enjoyed it down below. Do not forget to drop a like as well as subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you all in my next one thank you guys so much for watching bye